All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can build hallways that will probably end up killing people. It's The Sims 4. Kill people with hallways, damn it. Everyone say hello to the Claire Danes Loves Pudding family. This family has a history of heart disease and hypertension, which makes them perfect for what we're going to do today. Today, these participants, including Canadian Bob Ross, will be traversing through a hallway with the intent to eventually get to an upper floor that is filled with glorious rooms and high quality items. The only problem is that I plan on making the hallway as long as humanly possible. So here's the plan. There's a couple of other issues that I'm gonna have these people deal with. First off, like I said, they have a tendency to have heart attacks all the time. Like their heart explodes and I don't know, shards of their aorta end up piercing all of their Sims organs. So I'm going to be putting little areas throughout the hallway so that they can eat to survive. However, in order to get the food, they're going to have to deal with a scare that could instantaneously kill them. There's also the fact that they're gonna have to walk like 100 billion miles just to get to the upper floor. This is why I have everyone from all walks of life. From highly athletic people, to obese people, to people wearing Xena outfits. I abducted this guy right out of his shower. As everyone writes up their will on their cell phone, let us begin making the building. This all started because I had a dream about the hallway from The Shining. Y'all know the hallway from The Shining. And so I wanted to build it in an infinite capacity. This is only like just the beginning of the bottom floor. And I already wondered to myself if any Sims are even going to make it up to the second floor. Eventually, I kind of want to calculate just how far our shining hallway ends up at. On the plus side though, since all the Sims have really bad health issues, this should get their cardio up to like athlete levels. God, just looking at this thing drops the FPS down to like 30. I've already got two floors of this horror done so far. <laughs> oh, the agony. Okay, floor two is done. Going up to floor three. Everyone down here is like, Gray, why, you bastard? It's because I've got nothing but time, blue hair. All right, since we're on the top floor, just got to make the Sims a nice living place if anyone actually manages to get up here in one piece. And there we go. Look at this beautiful living space. Should someone actually manage to get through all this without having a cardiac arrest event, they will get all of this. I find it interesting that there's actually a mug with a broken heart on it. All right, we need some nice, the shining floor paneling. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Get all that done. There we go. And then we need some terrible wallpaper, like a nice floral wallpaper. Uh, yeah, this is pretty close. And plus the, uh, the blood vomit will show up real well on it. These sims should be thankful by the time I'm done with this, it's gonna be over a million dollar home. You always need plenty of light in these places. Because the reality is, if the sims can't see each other's dead bodies, uh, I think you're missing out on an important source of fear. On the plus side, all these lights are eco-friendly. At least that's what it says on the packaging. I started doing my lights in a pattern, but quite honestly, I don't have time for this crap. So wherever there's lights, you sims will get lucky. Whenever a building takes like four minutes to save, you know it's gonna be a big deal in a sim's life. For anyone who doesn't know, the length of your save duration is directly proportionate to the amount of mental distress that the Sims will be in when they experience the file. All right, now on every floor, there has to be one of these candy bowls so that if the Sims need, they can have a piece of candy. However, every time they do, they have the chance of dying. Okay, we got the weather device clipping through the wall over here for maximum fear. I hope I can use this and still allow the Sims to get around. That's right. Make all your fellow Sims sad. I wonder if I could just sell this after you use it. On a side note, please don't get electrocuted because that's gonna take all the fun away from your inevitable future death. Get it, Claire Danes. Make me proud. Well done, you just ruined everyone else's life. All right, so with this, they should all begin running into, did you just slip and fall on your face? Or what the hell was that? They're all just running into one of the decks. Kind of funny, I need to watch this. <laughs> all right, let me get rid of this thing. Wow, this hallway is just awful. You can't even see the end, it just renders out. 
Well, is, is anyone gonna go first? Are y'all just gonna look around shifty-eyed? <laughs> this girl's like, I'd like to phone a friend. There we go. Bet you're wishing you picked those pants back up at your house now, didn't you? All right, let's make sure. I'm, I'm fairly sure, but I want to just double check. I'm going to go make sure that the Sim could potentially make their way all the way up into the living area. Go. Come on, Florida man. You have to teach all these people how to get there. I know they can. I think it's just too far of a pathing for a Sim to understand. Tim Horton identified the guppy. Tim Horton. You better start moving your ass inside of the house. Florida man has a hot-headed lesson. Now that makes sense. Okay, so many, many people have begun going through the hallways now without me forcing them to do so. They probably should have done this a long time ago because I have a feeling that more than one may end up just starving to death. Right over here, prancing her way down the hallway is meth is bad. So everybody is inside the house right now except for this girl. So I don't know if she's the smartest or the dumbest. <laughs> right now, Florida man is the only one with any potential survival skills. My God, I didn't think about this, but how many days does it take to get through just the first level? You're almost there, Florida man. You will get to eat soon. Okay, in order to allow them to get all the way up at the top, new challenge. They only have the opportunity to eat once every two floors. <laughs> Please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. Okay, since everyone's starving, everyone's going for the treat except for this guy who's going for the toilet, but he's got a long ass way to go. Just FYI, once you all grab a snack from here, I'm deleting this thing. Mmm, bladder failure, unbelievable. You got a bath towel on, just freaking take that off and sop that up. I just noticed this guy's wearing a bath towel and like some Converse. Nap, yeah, good luck on that, buddy. All right, we have our very first person up to the second floor, and it is indeed Florida Man. How you doing there, Florida Man? Kill me! Where the hell is everyone else at? Uh, next closest person, I think it's gonna be you, Jamie Thighmaster? Is anyone still outside of the house? I'm kind of curious, because at this point, if you're still outside, you're gonna die. There's no way in hell you'll make it. No, everyone's inside now. Uh, Tim Horton. Bro, you're, you're gonna want to keep pressing on, man. Yeah, get up to that bed. This is the facial expression of every single sim that has to deal with a house build that I make. They're like, Gray, you could have spent that money on a, a plush sofa or maybe a nice bathroom. But instead, all you've done have created janky ass lights inside of a never ending hallway that brings me to my death. To that I say, yes, I have, madam. On the plus side, uh, Florida man's doing pretty good. He's halfway through the second floor. He's gonna be ravenous in like 14 hours. And I think after that, he just starves to death. So uh, hopefully he keeps pushing. I actually gave Tim Horton the best amount of survival instinct. So I find it kind of curious that he's still just like chilling on the bottom floor over here. Although he is getting closer. He's not the second closest. Actually, he's like the fourth closest. Okay, we've got three people now on the second floor. Still no one has eaten anything from that, that container there that I know of. As soon as I say that, this girl almost has a heart attack. Okay, they can actually get around this too, which is excellent. So I can change the, uh, I can change the weather. It's nighttime, which will make them even more hated. Where, where are you going? Tim Horton, what are you doing? Oh, he was so hungry, he had to get a piece of the death candy. Tim Horton loves the outdoor lesson. What outdoor lesson? You're never going outside again. Once you get to the top of this house, you're never gonna wanna leave. Sad. Desolate. That's probably a very common emotion that Sims feel. All right, Florida man is still working his ass off. What happens is quite a few people get about halfway and then they know that they can't survive without food. So they go back here to get a bite. After she gets a bite of this food, I think I'm gonna delete it so that she has to go onward in order to survive. Yep, that was your one piece of food. Get back to your cardio. Say goodbye to salvation. Oh, the one problem with Florida Man is that he's pretty overweight, so he's slow as hell. Look at how fast these other people are compared to him. Florida Man, what, what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Yeah, the toilet's upstairs. You got another floor to go, man. Keep, 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 keep digging deep, buddy. Yeah, see, he knows. He's like, if I don't get to that 
to that candy tray. I'm a dead man in 24 hours. Just let it go. Let it go. No one's watching. You're all alone. It seems like whenever they do the I really have to piss walk, they get slowed down terribly because now Florida man's back in the lead big time. I really hadn't intended for this to become the traumatic death race that it is, but that's effectively what's happened at this point. Florida man daintily walks up the stairs, but the food bowl is all the way in the middle. You got 20 hours to get there, man. Godspeed. Down below, quite a few of our grouping here in a, in a cluster together. What the hell are you people doing on the bottom floor? These people aren't smart enough to live. They're all gonna starve to, to death on the bottom. I forgot my pants. I don't feel so good. And Xena warrior pleb. You got 14 hours to get to that food bowl, man. If I didn't put those candy trays there, no one would have survived this. Whatever you do, do not get stuck in the I have to piss walk. If you get stuck in that walk, you are screwed. Florida needs food now. <laughs> Poor Florida. We're all malnourished down here. It's true. They're just gonna die. They're just gonna allow this to happen. There we go. Xena warrior pleb. Down she goes. I don't feel so good. Is about to not feel very good. She's got 15 minutes of life left. Oh, now you're gonna try and get something to eat. Well, it's a little freaking late for that. Oh no, she's going to witness death. <laughs> That's what she's. Will this will this cheer you up a little bit? No, not at all. She's like, maybe I can just have a heart attack. Kleptomaniac lesson. Why? Why would you choose to learn this? Do we have any Pisces in the crowd? Cause uh, this is a cool death. Oh my God, I, I never thought about this. Does death have to go through the hallways as well? He can't just teleport through. You've got 59 minutes to live. 55, I'm sorry. There are so many things that you could be doing right now. Don't look now, but death is fading through your body. Right now he's like, ah, this is why cardio is so important in the world of zombie land and anything that Grey builds. Could you please stop getting all of your tears all over death? Actually, maybe this is what death uses for his laundry detergent. It's the tears of the Sims. Don't worry, YouTube. They're just sleeping. Oh, there goes our last girl down there. It was only a matter of time. Oh no. Florida man has to use the bathroom. Florida man, you better just piss yourself, dude. You've got seven hours to get there, brother. Six hours, there's no way he makes this. Florida man, what are you standing around for? Run, brother. That's it, now he's gotten his energy back. Look at that sprint. He's in the last four hour sprint for food. Florida man has been through a lot in his life. He's wrestled alligators. He's beaten people to death with Natty Light. There's no way in hell he's gonna let starvation claim him. Three hours left. Two hours left. No! Florida man, you got so close! It was on the next floor! Claire Danes loves pudding. Going down. Didn't make it. This is where the food is, everyone. It's right there. You just have to get to it. I got bad news. Beyond the puddles of urine and death kind of looming around. I don't think anyone's gonna make it. Florida man is gonna end up being the closest because pretty soon I'm sure everyone's gonna be starving to death. Well, kids, this is why you don't do meth. You ready? Slow, slow, <laughs> little public, little PSA from old Gray over here. Tim Horton goes down, which means that uh, Miss Thighmaster is the last person left alive. She lasted the longest in the run. I think she's got 36 minutes. Thighmaster. You put up an excellent fight, but just like all Sims who don't take this crap seriously, you too must taste the delicious wooden floor that I have laid out for you all. Here's the, here's the walls too, so you can enjoy the, uh, the shining walls. Well folks, hope you all enjoyed this episode of The Sims 4, where the house ended up being a little bit too much for The Sims. Hey folks, till next time, stay foxy, much love.